Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Hopefully this is gonna turn out. Hope you like the gray. Man, I'm telling you. When I first started going gray, I was like, son of a bitch, right? <laughs> this is not cool. Especially I started losing hair. I was like, man, this is just, that's why I shaved it. I mean, years ago, I remember looking, when I was like, I was young, I was like in my 30s. I was just like, dude, what, this is so annoying. Every morning you have to get in there and comb your hair and blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm so sick of that. And I just, I just me and never look back <laughs> just I love it because if you think about it you can get up and walk I've been able to just get up and go and not have to think look in the mirror because I know my hair is cool because I don't have any right but no I have hair it's just you know it's not all there so I'd rather just not have it there but my razor broke down and I'm babbling that's not what this video is even about I was going to talk about Mandela and music, but, you know, that old chestnut, it is what it is. You live your life, and it's strange enough as it is without having to throw stuff like that into it. Because trust me, I've been, the Lord's Prayer was kind of weird, though. That was bizarre, because I saw it happening in real time. <clears throat> Switching back and forth, I'm not going to get into that, but. <clears throat> Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so, my production value, I'm sorry. But you're here, so that says something about those 400 video rip apps. Just uh, pumping them out. No idea what I'm doing. Just I knew I, you know, what I mean, maybe it was part of my journalism, you know, bug. Just I, to get the voice out. Maybe I would have been a broadcaster or something like that. A journalist. This is kind of like journalism. I do talk about some interesting stuff. But, but I also have like I'm getting old and. You know, my memory's not what it used to be. 51, baby. I'll be 52 in a month. Yikes. So that's a tough nut to crack, right? I want to talk about something amazing that happened today. It's been going on for a while. I talk about childhood traumas and, and just, just on the edge of my consciousness, I can figure it out. And what it is and what I figured out today as I'm meditating and just doing, you know, it was conditioning, your mental conditioning. And it's so bizarre how ingrained it is in our society, not just in our patriot art article, you know, father figure, you, you know, discipline, you, you know, respect for authority. It used to be, an, oddly enough, it was almost like that JFK thing where there's this innocence about our country, America, where everything felt good and, and looked good and everything was going on great and then you know, they blew his head off and then everything just got fucking ugly and you realize that the good guys were in control of the situation. And then it just all went Meow. That's kind of like being a dramatic, but the point was, is there was a point when you could respect authority. You could respect, I mean, you know, granted John F. Kennedy was a player and he was doing amphetamines or whatever, but the Marilyn Monroe, nice, right? Anyway, the point is, is I realized it was my mental conditioning. It was, it's almost like that surf slave mentality. If you're a born free human being, you have to be conditioned to be a slave. Think about that. Yeah. Mind blowing, right? I was being conditioned to be a slave and I'm not a slave. As you can see by my title, I'm the Emperor of the Universe, baby. But for some reason, somebody knew that, and they tried to break me. They tried to, and I didn't understand it, but this was from childhood. So, and you know, it's almost like you, you see those medieval families and how they're all killing each other. Oh, the English were really bad about that. The War of the Roses and all that stuff. I mean, they were just family members whacking each other, just like, you know, if you were even related to the throne, you're, you know, they'd go to your castle and just kill everybody. You're like, wow. It's like, yeah, they're brutal shit, right? Family members. You could see why, and you wouldn't see how that was, re, you know, related in reality, but people understand power. And if you're a threat, if, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, if you're a threat with power, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm powerful. I feel it. And that's why I was, I was really jazzed about the universe tapping into me and using my energy to, to help others. I thought that was cool. But I just realized that that was all part of my, my breakthrough, all part of my 
it's kind of like Neo unplugging and realizing that you never, you always had that power. You know what I mean? It's just, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome to be out there. It's just like, whoa. I'm just, cause I'm looking at it and thinking about it going, that's what it was. My father was conditioning me, but he was conditioned by his environment. And it was weird the times I grew up in too, because everybody, the whole family unit was breaking down in the seventies and everybody was just, you know, fucking each other. And they were having like, you know, parties where people would put the keys and they did them in the 70s show where they had like the fishbowl and everybody put their keys and somebody would hump at somebody else's old lady. That's the kind of shit kind of broke down the whole family unit, right? And that was the beginning of the end, I guess, for that, you know, um, patriarchal, or, or, oracle, you know, society where you have to respect your authority and the cops were kind of like the, you know, the good guys. And, hey, you know, always on the right side. Not, never, you know, they'd never dream of beating the crap out of you for no reason. You know, we do shit like they do now. It's like, what the fuck, right? But then again, I could do a video about how they turn the cops into the bad guys. And, and the cops are mentally conditioning themselves to be the bad guys. It's really fucked up. Because they're following the laws of the people that are trying to get them basically um, annexed out. So that how fucked up is that? If you're a cop, you're following the orders of the people... Your boss wants to get rid of you, so they want you to look like an asshole, so they're basically giving you fucked up laws that you have to enforce, so you look like a dick. And then people start really not liking cops. Oh, I'm telling you, man, the, the mind humps that they go into, right? <sighs> Love and light. But yeah, see, this is part of my, you know, being the emperor, man. I realized I was on the verge of just busting through that, that childhood fucking bullshit. You know, that slave mentality where you have to fucking put your head down and be subservient. Fuck that bullshit. Choke on I cock, please. I am the emperor of the universe, please. And I know er you're watching, you're an emperor or the empress of your universe, and you can tell them the same thing I did, except maybe you can be nicer about it. But anyway, this is my update. <sighs> Breakthrough, it was awesome. I was just, oh, I was just on that version that was, yeah, it was the conditioning. It was the conditioning of a slave. But we're not slaves. We are free from birth, baby. All of us. Every man, woman, and child. Well, actually, every child born is born free. It's just a matter of conditioning them to be a slave. Wow. Badass. Okay. I'll let you go because it's an awesome video. I love you. God loves you. The universe is digging you. So have a wonderful day. I hope this turned out. Goodbye. Okay,